A new patrol vehicle has hit the streets in Adams County, and it's not one you're probably used to seeing. News Channel 15's Adam Widener headed down to Geneva to check it out today. So, Adam, what are we talking about here? Well, Mark and Heather, police departments across the area are finding new ways to cut costs out of their budgets, right? Well, in Geneva, they're thinking outside the box by hitting the streets with a vehicle usually used to hit the links. Folks in Geneva are familiar with these cruising around town, but meet the new addition to the fleet. This bad boy's not looking for a Titleist. Oh, it's searching for prime. We retrofitted it with lights. It actually does have a siren on it, too. As a police radio, it will soon have a first responder bag and hopefully a, an automatic electronic defibrillator, too. The golf cart was purchased from business donations. It's not meant for pulling people over, but it's supposed to help keep an eye on the area. They really like it for patrolling alleyways, um, for doing their business checks and things like that because they can get they can get a lot closer to things and they can they can go places quieter. You know, so they they have actually startled some people. It's only fitting that the police department now has one since the vehicle is a popular way to get around in Geneva. There's not so many during the weekday, but on the weekends, most of the traffic in town is golf carts. At 50 miles a gallon, the big question is how fast can this puppy go? Everybody wants to know that. The only thing that we'll say is that it will do 30 and it will go faster than that. Not only cutting costs out of the budget, but making the small town a little more friendly. A lot of the citizens, you know, they, they saw it, they waved to us, you know, they, it puts them in closer retrospect with us. Now, you may have seen other police golf carts in the area. Here's the difference. Most of those are used for parades and fairs. The Geneva cart is used for patrolling. By the way, this doesn't replace a police cruiser. It's used as an addition to the fleet. Okay, thank you, Adam.